welcome back to another video and this is going to be aimed towards more so to the newer followers of this channel so a lot of you are following these inventory series and obviously throughout the process of development you are running into all kinds of issues so one of the more common ones and one of the the first issues usually that people face is that sometimes they are unable to pick up items after they have picked up a backpack now the reason for that there's uh, just one reason that could come into play is that the uh, backpack is blocking the channel that is use, you getting used for the interaction. Now, if you would go to the third person character, look for the E key event where we have the line trace that follows the interaction, you will see that this is this is the node that we are using to shoot a direct line. It is using a visibility trace channel, so keep that in mind. And we can go ahead and enable the debug type to for one frame or rather better for duration so that we can see it for a longer period of time. So this is going to display you the line. This is very important to sometimes do this and uh, this might show you some of the issues. Now also what I've done is I've made my line to start 300 units uh, from the camera. So if we go to the uh, camera boom settings you will see that the uh, target arm length is 200 units so my camera is 200 units behind the character now if i would remove this the camera the line trace is no longer going to be shot from the front of the camera it's going to be rather shot from the camera itself so if we would now let me move the camera back to its default position because mine is a little bit moved at this point so now if we would hit play uh, my window disappeared here we go so let's pick up a backpack and now if we do a line trace you can see that it is hitting the backpack and this is the issue that you are facing you are unable to pick up these items because you are not interacting with the item you are trying to interact with the backpack backpack from this point and that is because the backpack is blocking the the visibility trace channel and it is not going through the, the character it is interacting with the backpack rather than uh, the, the item itself so go ahead and add forward vector times a float or an integer doesn't really matter i'm using integer in this, this example and then connect it to plus world location so this is going to shoot your line uh, from the front of the character so if we would try this again pick up a backpack and do a line trace you can see this is where it starts it starts from the front of our character rather from behind the character and from the backpack so this way it is working a lot better as you can see so go ahead and do that I'm gonna revert back to my previous camera settings and there we go so that is how you fix the issues with the backpack so again the draw debug type is very important to enable this so you can actually see what is happening uh, also uh, just to explain this thing a little bit so when we do a line trace and we enable it you can see there's a red line so the red as long as it's red it means it has not hit anything at that point but once it hits something it creates a red square and everything after that is green so make sure that it is actually connecting with the correct object. So follow that hit red, uh, red square essentially. And it's going to show you where exactly it is colliding with something. So that's a good thing to have. Now the next issue is that, well, uh, some of the pickups are a little bit harder to pick up since they are quite a bit smaller than other ones. So again, if you enable the draw debug type, you will see when it actually collides with an item so over here in this example we have these bottles right here if we do a line trace right there you can see it instantly picked it up even though i wasn't even looking at it you can see it's still picking it up even though the trace is hitting in a different location as you can see it's mid-air like so right i can't pick it up i think i don't have enough space but you get the idea now what is happening is we have these boxes around it so as long as we are hitting that box it is going to pick up that item so for the smaller object it, objects it is really good to have this box because otherwise some of these objects will be really really hard to pick up if we don't have that box around it because then we have to shoot directly at this object now we have a little bit more space now for some of you, this thing might not exactly be working like you want it to. So go ahead, open up your pickup master, select this box that we have right here. And what you can do is scroll down till the collision settings, make sure you set it to overlap all, or you can just, yeah, just go ahead, set it to overlap all. Then you can change it into custom or just change it to custom directly. Just make sure you have the query only at least enabled. 
and then you can overlap everything except for the visibility trace channel. You got to block the visibility trace channel. Well, or at least the channel that you are using for the line trace on the interaction. So in this case, I'm using the visibility trace channel. So make sure you are blocking that one. Otherwise, if you are not blocking this channel, the box is getting completely ignored. So let me show you if we overlap everything. And now if we hit play again, you will see that if I hit next to it, it no longer picks it up. I got to make sure that I actually look at it. Otherwise, it's not getting picked up. So go ahead and block your visibility trace channels like so. So now that's that's going to be good and it's going to be working just fine. Now, the next couple of issues is that in Unreal Engine for a lot of versions already, uh, the structures tend to break. What that means is that if the structure breaks, then pretty much the whole inventory breaks. But don't worry about it. It's actually very simple to fix this. Uh, so let me demonstrate how you could accidentally break this. So for example, we have our database, which is based on the S slots structure. So let's go ahead and let's uh, instead of the S slots, maybe let's use the S inventory structure. Yeah, because the database is based on the S inventory structure rather. So let's grab this one and let's add ourselves a new value to this. And let's call this whatever. Let's make it type into whatever and save that. Now, if we would hit play, there's a pretty big chance that it might have been broken. So if we open this up. Uh, in my situation, luckily for me, everything is still functioning just fine. But sometimes you will have an issue that the tooltip is not going to show anything. It's only going to show you the amount. And, uh, in, and it's not only that, sometimes it's also not going to allow you to move these items around. Uh, it's going to give you some kind of an error message or whatever. Well, usually it doesn't give even an error message. It just simply doesn't allow to move items around. So what you can do is I already spoke about this in the preview video. You can go ahead and uh, think about where is the item coming from. So in my situation, I'm moving this from the player slots to the backpack. So the, to the item data. So go ahead and open up those. So usually there's just three of them. It's uh, the player slots, item data and the equipment slot. And once you have those open, go ahead, open the graph and look for the on drag detected. Whenever you hover over this item input, it should say S slots structure. If it says fallback, then that means it has broken. And if it's fallback, it's not going to work. There's a very easy fix for this whole thing. You got to go to the file and refresh all nodes and it's going to refresh this blueprint and it's going to be fine. Do the same thing for the item data. Refresh all nodes. You got to be in the graph to do so. Uh, so refresh all nodes, all good. And the same thing for the equipment uh, slot as well. Refresh all nodes. One more location. So let's say you, you do this and it works and it's all good. Uh, usually it will, but sometimes after you restart it and come back, it's going to have the same issue again. That is because, well, not only the widgets broke, but also the drag and drop operation itself. So here on the drag detected, we have this drag drop item operation, which is this blueprint right here. So go ahead, open that blueprint up as well and file and refresh all nodes on this one as well. And then the issue is going to be gone. Now this issue can only occur when you are changing something in the structure. So in this situation, I think it's probably good, uh, probably worked fine because we changed the S inventory structures type. But I think that if we would change the S slots structure, now it might actually break. Uh, there we go. As you can see, there's a bunch of errors in the compiler. So it asks us to open it up. So click on all of those and then click cancel so that it actually opens all of them up. And let's see what it tells us. So here we have, as you can see, we have a bunch of errors. It says that there is some kind of unknown pins. So things like this can happen when working with structures. They do tend to break sometimes. So then you will have to go through these, split them and reconnect them back. So we have the data table, which is the item data table, row name, which is the item row name, compile. We have another problem over here. So I just made myself uh, quite a few issues, but well, we can re reconnect all of these and we can go ahead and fix these issues just simply by reconnecting the pins. So structures are a little, 
a little annoying but i don't know any other ways uh, what we could do in order to create an inventory we do need structures because we need a lot of parameters for every single one of our items they cannot live by just having a couple of values we need the databases and we need all that stuff to make life easier for us but with that, as you can see, some issues could occur throughout the process of development. But don't feel discouraged. Uh, things like this can happen. It's completely normal. And as you can see, I'm having to fix quite a few of these issues. And uh, hopefully, once we are done with this, it is going to function. Obviously, if you're getting any of these errors and you're still a little bit clueless on what to do, go ahead, print screen, uh, open that error up, show us that location. Uh, usually, like when you have an issue, go ahead and give us as much detail as possible with some screenshots or something or explain the, uh, the issue in, in detail because otherwise sometimes it's very hard. Uh, some people come, come join the Discord and they're like, I want to make a survival game. Cool. We all do. Uh, what now like give us some specifics at least what are your questions how far into the process are you are you a complete beginner or do you know something what, what like give us a specific question we can't answer like hundreds and hundreds of questions to everybody all the time so give us some proper uh, proper details so now let's try this again and there we go i think i broke it so now uh still seems to work i think i got a lot of I think I have a huge amount on one of those, I guess. Yeah, one of those has a huge amount. So unfortunately, I did not manage to break the structure, but sometimes it does. It's not going to allow you to move the items anymore and it's going to be bugged out. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. At least you know how to fix that. Now, another very cool thing to do uh, that's going to help you quite a bit is the print string. Now, if you want to know how to use the print string, it's a very, very useful tool. It's going to print you out the values. So you got to keep in, in mind what kind of a value should come through. Uh, and you can print it basically anywhere. You can print any value you want. So the, the note is called print string. And you can print out any name that you want. You can print out the amount. It's going to convert to a string you can print out the database name you can print out the row name you can print out the boolean value you can print out basically anything you want you can even print out the actor's name so if you drag from the actor it's going to print out the actor's name as well and it's going to happen at the top left corner of your screen by default uh, whenever you are in that process now it's for more information on this print string thing uh, there's going to be a link down in the description uh, where i spoke about the print strings more uh, in depth a little bit so how how usually i uh, go about using them so another tiny issue which i didn't really find to be that big of an issue because it's a very easy fix so we are able to drag empty slots and uh they can be sometimes dropped as well as you can see but essentially those are just empty items and well nothing is really inside of them also it does show us the empty tooltip that that's an empty slot now we can actually fix that very very easily so if you would go to your player slots and in the graph we have the on mouse button down event which then triggers the drag detection so we can go ahead go to the drag detected and over here what we can actually do is do an if branch check and we can check whether the amount is bigger than zero or another option is to check if it's the empty slot. So we could do the amount should be bigger than zero and the item name should not be equal to empty like so. So if both of those are true, if the item is not empty and if it's bigger than zero, we can do an and. You can choose. You can just use one of these. Actually, I'm just going to show. I'm just going to show both of these because I've seen a couple of you guys have used one. A couple of uh, of you have used the other one. So you can use this one. And then if it, that is true, if the amount is bigger than zero and if it's not this one, then you're not going to be able to drag the item anymore. Now we can go ahead and copy this for the tooltip as well. So it doesn't create us the tooltip unless there is something in that slot. So we can copy the same thing over here. Compile and save that. Hit play. And now you will see that there's no longer any tooltips. We cannot drag those. We can drag these ones. We cannot drag the other ones. As you can see. Here we go. Now we still have the same issue over here. So go ahead, open up all of your slots. We have the item data. The same thing should be applied over here. Uh, 
uh, the same thing should be applied for the quick slots and the uh, equipment slots so uh, those are the some of the common issues and questions that i've received very recently uh, if you have more of these go ahead leave them down in the comments uh, comment section down below i'm going to try to answer all of them also feel free to join my discord and ask for help over there but just make sure that when you ask for help give us a detailed information of what is the issue where is it happening what exactly are you trying to drag from which location to which location and so we have some detail it's very hard to to uh, help when all you do is come and you say oh something doesn't work what doesn't work i don't know it just doesn't work like i don't know then so <laughs> give us some detailed explanation on this thing and uh, yeah so yeah thank you for watching uh see you see you in the next one